In our fourth tutorial on SVM Basics, we're covering conflicts. We've already looked at the core components in installing the server. We've spent time working with Tortoise SVN client and doing the imports. And we've completed tutorial three where we've done the checkouts and the commit process. What we're looking at now is the concept of resolving conflicts when two people are modifying the same file or same set of files at the same time. What you'll find is that two people will be working on the same file and try to commit changes to the same file on the repository in the server at the same time. And that's when we get a conflict. So what we see when we get a conflict is that two users have checked out the contents from the repository and they might have revision one of a particular file. User one modifies that file, it now has revision two, and commits that change to the repository. So the repository now contains revision two. User two, meanwhile, makes their own changes to the file, and they have a revision two, but their own revision two, that's different from revision two that user one has. They try to check in and commit those changes, and the SVN server warns you that those changes from user two will overwrite the changes that user one made to the same file. So it stops the second user from making that commit and it warns you that there's a conflict. And what you see when you see that conflict is that Tortoise SVN, for example, will show you that you've attempted the commit and that you weren't updating the latest version of the file that was contained in the repository. So you need to update your working copy for user two first, then make your changes, then commit them again. What we'll do now is we'll walk through that whole process using an example where we have two users in two directories making updates to the same file and committing them to the repository. So in our example then, we have Visual SVN Server. We have two repositories. We're working with repository one. That repository contains directory A, directory B, and a couple of files. On our file system then, we're simulating two users. On the left-hand side, we have repo one for user one, and we have the checked out version of repo one for user two. We can drill into both of those directories for user one and for user two, and we can see that both of them have um, directory A, directory B, and a few files. If we right-click on those repositories and we use the tortoise SVN commands, we can check for modifications and tortoise SVN will query the repository and will be notified that there are no updates required to those local repositories. So both users here, user one, user two, are running with exactly the same revisions of the files from the repository. So what we'll do is we'll simulate user one making some changes, committing a change to the repository, and then we'll make user two commit some changes to the repository, and we'll see and demonstrate that conflict. So using a text editor, we can update file two, so drag file two into notepad. See there's nothing in there at the moment, but we can say updates made by user one to file two.txt. Save those changes. Complete our usual tortoise SVN commit. Add a comment. Tortoise SVN confirms that we've updated the file and we're now running at revision five on the repository on the server. We should see an update to our file icons. But if we remember that user two is still running on revision four of the files. So if we drill in to this repository and open a text editor again, and edit that file in notepad again, you'll see that there's no content in there. So this 
user 2 doesn't have the latest updates yet. So user 2 opens file 2 on their system and remember that this is back on revision 4, the original revision that was on the repository. So there's no contents in the file. And for update from user 2 to file 2.txt. Save that file. Tortoise SVN tells us that we've got a modified file and we need to commit that. We go to commit this file using Tortoise SVN. Adding our message and our comment. And the response we get back from the SVN server is that our file2.txt is out of date and that we need to update our working copy first. As if SVN had allowed that commit to complete, it would have overwritten the changes that user1 has already placed in there. So we get a couple of options at this point then. We can either cancel that update or we can update our working copy. And the quickest way to do this is to update our working copy. So we're pulling the latest version from the repository down into our local instance of the files. And for the observant of you, the result of that is that we're going to overwrite our changes. But the way SVN deals with that is that it updates our local copy of our file so that this is now the latest version. It updates our local version of the file but retains a couple of other versions as well that enable us to do a comparison to make sure that we commit the correct changes back to the repository. So SVN's given me the option to carry on with the commit here even though it's conflicted but I'm going to cancel that. We've updated our local file and we've got four instances of that same file now and we can look at those four files and we can see what we've got here. So we have file 2 revision 4 that was the original file that had nothing in it. We have file 2 revision 5 that is the version that's just been pulled down from the repository the latest version in the repository where the updates were made by user 1. We have file 2 text.mine, that's my copy of file2.txt where I made my updates. So this is user 2's updates to file2. And then we have what SVN has pulled together which is file2.txt where it's merged the contents from both the repository and my local file. Now there's some clever nomenclature in here that SVN uses when it does emerge, but actually the simplest way for us to deal with this is to use a merge tool because what we want is the combined version of the latest repository which had user one's changes in and my version of the file. So I'm using a diff tool or a merge tool called WinMerge and uh, there are many other diff and merge tools out there but if I open in WinMerge what I see is on the left is my version of the file so user 2 updates to file 2 and on the right the latest version from the repository which is revision 5 and now I can combine those two files so I might want to copy the contents from the repository merge those in to my version and if I save those changes, what I now have when I open Notepad or an editor is the merged file. So revision 5, which came from the repository, and my changes, which were local, both merged into a file called file2.txt.mine. The only problem we have now is that this is the file that I've updated, but isn't version controlled locally and isn't contained in the repository. What I don't want at this stage is SVN's merged version so I can rename this to text.merged 
and then I can update this to file2.txt which is the version controlled version of the file and we'll see that SVN puts the conflict icon next to the file and what I now need to do is two things one tell SVN that I've resolved the conflict and two commit that change to the repository so I can right click on the file go to tortoise SVN and I can select resolve conflicts so that's the conflicted file I'm saying I want to resolve it commit and that has updated my local repository or my local copy of the files to say that I've modified it there's no conflict but I've still updated the file and I still need to commit it so the final step then right click SVN commit add my comment user 2 updates merged with user 1 updates from repository it's revision 5 and when I commit this file now what we should see is that the confirmation message says that I'm now at revision 6 and that revision 6 contains all of the changes from both user 1 and user 2 the only thing left now is that user 1 doesn't have the latest version from the repository which contains user 2's changes if we right click on here and do tortoise SVN and check for modifications what we'll see is SVN telling us when we check the repository that file 2 has been modified in which case we can right click and do SVN update and tortoise SVN will pull down the latest version from the repository which is revision 6 and if we open that in text editor now we'll see that user 1 has the updates from the repository containing both his updates user 1 and user 2's updates as well and that's how we manage and deal with conflicts when multiple users are updating the same file in the same repository at the same time